Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And today we're putting that power to the test. So welcome everyone to the semifinals. This is K Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K Check. For weeks, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. At ngayon, sa ating semi-finals, alamin natin kung sino sa kanila ang magtutuloy-tuloy sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. So samahan nyo kami hanggang sa dulo dahil doon naman ay malalaman natin kung sino ang ating bagong K-Check champion. Apat na contestants from UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Tatlo sa kanila ay weekly winners at ang pang-apat ay isang wide guard selected from past contestants whose exemplary performance merited a spot in the semi-finals. Nikos is a mechanical engineering freshman whose hobbies are playing games and playing sports. He also likes to read novels and manga. Sunod naman si Paolo. Paolo is a 23-year-old chemistry student who loves to play board games and listen to K-pop groups like Stray Kids and Mamamoo. Next, we have Benny. Benny is a sports science student with a fascination for history, music, and the human body. He is an avid runner and frequently does so around UP's academic oval. And finally, we have Jace. Jace is a Bachelor of Secondary Education student and our wild card for this round. His favorite activities include reading books, eating desserts, and going to new places. He also knows around 20 different national anthems by heart. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. First, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. We also have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And last but not least, multimedia artist and Professor Emeritus teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and communication at the UP Open University, we have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. And now contestants, it's time for round one. Get ready to buzz in and collect those points. But make sure you wait until you are acknowledged by the host. Correct answers are 10 points each. So, let's, let's begin. begin. This is round one, question number one. What long-necked domesticated bird forms groups called gaggles? Hello. Uh, uh, geese. Geese or goose forms groups called gaggles. The answer is correct, K-check. Question number two, in measurements, what unit of mass is abbreviated as MG? Because. Milligrams. Milligram is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. Named after a cauldron, what Filipino dish is a beef stew with tomato sauce and liver spread? And sometimes. Nikos. Menudo. The answer is incorrect. And sometimes. Yes, Benny. Caldereta. Caldereta is the name of a cauldron. And so the answer is correct. K check. Question number four. What is the big striped mammal of the cat family that had been in the news in January 2024 because its population had been threatened by poaching and habitat loss in Malaysia? Paolo. Tiger. The tiger is the correct answer. K check. Question number five. What Olympic sport is also called water ballet? Paolo. Synchronized swimming. Synchronized swimming is the correct answer. K-check. Question number six this time. What is the title of the sci-fi horror TV series first released in 2016 that tells the story of the people of Hawkins, Indiana? Paolo? Stranger Things. It tells the story of the people of Hawkins, Indiana, including that of Eleven, a girl with telepathic and psychokinetic abilities. The correct answer is Stranger Things. K-check. Question number seven. Which female singer single, Shut Up and Drive, was heard in the film Wreck-It Ralph, as well as Lift Me Up in Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Paolo? Rihanna. Rihanna is the correct answer. K-check. 
Question number eight. One more time and get lucky are the number one singles of which French electronic music duo? Nikos. Daft Punk. Daft Punk is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What venomous steak native to Africa and Asia is unique because it spreads the skin of its neck into a hood when disturbed? Jace. King Cobra. King Cobra or Cobra is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In mental math, what number is the average of 5, 5, and 35? Nikos. 15. 15 is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What word may be an adjective meaning thin and without much fat? Or a verb that means to bend from a vertical position. The word is lean. Intake of breath from all our contestants. Question number 12 this time. What country's native cuisine includes tamales, quesadilla, enchilada, Jays. Mexico. Mexico is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our first round. Maraming salamat, attorney, for that round. So after that round, Paolo is leading with 50 points, followed by Nikos with 30 points, Jays with 20 points, and Benny with 10 points. So, of course, like every other show, mm -hmm. we do our chikahan para siyempre mas mabawasan yung mga kaba natin. So we'll start off with Nikos. So Nikos, paano yung paghahanda mo para dito sa semi-finals natin? Hindi ako masyala naganda. <laughs> Sabi nga nila, if you know, you know. <laughs> Ikaw naman, Paolo. Ano ang pinaka-memorable experience mo dito sa Cave Check? Tinanong din po ako ni Sir Jules po last time kung paano po ako na... Ano po yung parang edge ko po nun. Tapos sinabi ko po, tambay po ako sa Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Para sa so current events. Yes, yes, ah, correct. Yes. Wala na yata dyan. Binivideo fine na kasi yung mga news <laughs> ngayon. Para correct. mas interesting daw. Thank you for your stories, contestants. And get ready. Because we are going into round two. Sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! pa rin ang ating K-Check semi-finals at this point after the first round. We have Paolo in the lead with 50 points, followed by Nikos with 30, Jace with 20, and Benny with 10. Benny, siguro fascination mo for history ang nagdala sa'yo dito sa semis, no? So, aling question dito sa K-Check, ang pinaka-kinabahan ka? There were a lot of questions about sports and actually, di ko siya nasagutan kasi medyo nag-loading pa siya sa foot ako. And nasagutan nung kasama ko. So, um, yun. There are things na parang alam kong alam ko. Pero, uh, medyo nag-mental block. So, yun. Medyo kinakamit lang sa mga rin. Yun talagang mental block na yun. Kaaway ng lahat ng mga contestant natin. Totoo yan. Maraming salamat, Ben. Ito naman si Jace, ang ating wild guard for today. So, was it a surprise for you? Ano yung naging reaction mo? When I was told na magiging wild guard po ako, I was thinking, okay, we have a redemption arc. So, it's a good thing for me. Redemption era niya. So, um, can you remind our audience? Kasi isa ka sa mga tumatak din na interesting yung bio, no? Na meron kang alam na 20 national anthems ko. So, bakit nga ba ito yung naging hobby mo? I started to memorize national anthems back when I was in third grade because I was interested in the songs that were sung before Pacquiao's match. So, I searched it up on the internet and then the algorithm gave more and I devoured it all. At least maraming contributions sa Pacquiao. Yes. Sa ating kabata. <laughs> Isang patunay si Jace <laughs> Yes. And of course, we should thank the internet in yes. one way or the other for providing a lot of information. Tapos na po ang chikahan natin with our contestants and it's now time for round two. So, contestants, Get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Laging tandaan, please wait to be called and acknowledged before you answer because your answer might not be given any credit. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Question number one. What is the name of the woolly elephant found as fossils in... 
Nikos Wuli Mamot Found as fossils in Pleistocene, known for its distinctive sloping back and long curved tusks, you said Wuli Mamot or Mamot, that is correct, K-check. Question number two. What figure of speech is the repeating of consonant sounds in two or more succeeding words like Wicked Witch of the West? Jays. Alliteration. Alliteration is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What is the dark brown pigment occurring in the hair and in humans? Jays. Melanin. And is responsible for tanning of skin exposed to sunlight. You said melanin. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number four. What is the modern name for the city once called Byzantium and Constantinople? Jace. Istanbul. Istanbul is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In geometry, what do you call a line that intersects a circle at two points? Paolo. Second. Second is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What do you call a trail of condensed water from an aircraft or rocket at high altitude seen as a white streak against the sky? The correct answer is contrail. Question number seven. Taken from a Swahili word for to build, what is the name of the game where players take turns removing one block at a time? Benny. Jenga. Let me proceed. At a time from a tower constructed of 54 blocks, he said Jenga. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Which male singer's Billboard number one songs are Watch Us Say in 2009 and Savage Love in 2020? Jace? Jason Derulo. Can you sing it? No. Jason Derulo is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What do you call the series of military campaigns waged between Christians against Muslims? Jace. The Crusades. Pagans and others. What be that began in the 11th century, you said the Crusades. That's correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. What is the name of the site of ancient ruins located about 50 miles from Cuzco, Peru that is considered a masterpiece, Paolo? Machu Picchu. Let me proceed. Of Inca architecture and engineering, you said Machu Picchu. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number 11. Who was the second person to set foot on the moon? Jace. Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin or Edwin Buzz Aldrin is correct. Okay, check. And final question for this round, number 12. What do you call the condition in which the number of red blood cells or the hemoglobin concentration within them is lower than normal? Paolo. Anemia. Anemia is correct. Okay, check. And that ends round number two. Wild talaga ang ating wild card because after that round, it's our wild card, Jace, who leads with 140 points, followed by Paolo with 110 points, Nikos with 50, and Benny with 30. Pero hindi pa tapos ang laban. Ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng... K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check and after that round, we do have our wild card, Jace, leading with 140 points, Paolo with 110, Nikos with 50 points, and Benny with 30 points. Pero, tulad nga ng palagi nating sinasabi, habang may round, may pag-asa, dahil meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Siyempre dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! So let's begin the ultimate pagalingan round with our first question from Prof. Marla. In chemistry, what is a free radical? A. A stable molecule with unpaired electrons. B. A highly reactive molecule with unpaired electrons. C. A neutral molecule with paired electrons. 
D, a positively charged ion. E, a negatively charged ion. Paolo, B, a highly reactive molecule with unpaired electrons. B, a highly reactive molecule with unpaired electrons is correct. K, check. So, nagtatay na for first place si Paolo at saka si Chase. Sino ang dating gobernador ng Antique ang pinaslang sa panahon ng bilangan ng boto nung halalang presidential nung 1986? A. Cesar Climaco B. Evelio Javier C. Edgar Hobson D. Primitivo Mejares E. Leon Alejandro Jace? A. Cesar Climaco Mali Benny C. Edgar Hobson Mali Professor Paolo uh, Isa siya sa mga unang kinilala sa bantayog ng mga bayani Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Evelio Javier Prakichi Kultura popular naman what was the film that is about a woman who was imprisoned for a crime she did not commit? It is about justice, redemption, and the impact of time on individuals and society. Directed by Love Diaz, starring Charo Santos Cosho and Gian Lloyd Cruz. Hey, ang nawawala, ang babaeng humayo, B, beyond. C. Sana maulit muli. D. Moral. E. One more chance. Yes. B. Ang babaeng humayo. In English, the title, The Woman Who Left, won the Golden Lion at the 73rd Venice International Film Festival in 2016. K-check. Jace is back in the lead. Let's see what will happen in the second round. Prof. Marla. What is the primary enzyme responsible for unwinding DNA during replication? A. DNA ligase B. DNA polymerase C. DNA helicase Paolo. C. DNA helicase The correct answer is C. DNA helicase K. Check Leading na si Paolo Leading na si Paolo Tignan natin kung makakahabol si Chase at si Benny at si Nichos. Ano ang naging petisyon ng kadalagahan ng malolos sa gobernador general ng kolonyal na pamahalang Kastila noong 1888? Chase? Sila po ay nagpetisyon na magbukas ng paaralan kung saan sila ay maaaring makapag-aral ng wikang Kastila. Letter A, dapat ang choice ay pagbubukas ng isang skwela para sa kababaihan. So, ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Super K-Check. First, uh, magka-Super K-Check. So, Jace is back on the lead. Ma'am Gigi. Yes. So, what is the dance that is a two-stick and this exercise set to music? It is a lively and dynamic dance often performed during festivals and celebrations. This dance is known for its energetic movements as the sticks are skillfully used by the dancers. Your choice is A. Maglalatik B. Kuratsa C. Sakuting D. Sing... C. Sakuting The occupying Spanish band, the practice of Filipino martial arts. So they went into secrecy, tapos pinasok nila yan sa kanilang mga saya. Sa kuting, that's K-check anak. Maraming salamat. Let's go, Prof. Marla. What is an exoplanet? A. A planet with extreme temperatures. B. A planet located outside the solar system. Yes. Be a planet located outside of solar system. Let me finish reading the choices. C. A planet with unusual geological features. D. A planet with a thick atmosphere. E. A planet supporting human life. The correct answer is B. A planet located outside the solar system. K. Check. Prof. Neil. Ano ang tawag sa European Union na nagsimula ito 
bilang isang common market ng mga kasaping bansa nito noong 1958. A European common market? This A the European common market? Mali. B European economic zone? C European economic community? D European free trade zone? E European Trading Union. Paolo. D. European Free Trade Zone. Male. Anyone can steal? Between Nikos or Benny? Hindi po umabot, Benny. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter C, European Economic Community. Punta naman tayo ulit sa sining who is the artist of the Our Lady of Edsa built in 1980 on donated land to commemorate the People Power Revolution. It is called the Shrine of Mary Queen of Peace but now popularly known as Our Lady of Edsa. Itong choices natin, A, Napoleon Abueva, B, Guillermo Tolentino, C, Virginia T. Navarro, D, Eduardo Castillo, E. Ana Anastasio Caldo. Jace. C. Virginia T. Navarro. Virginia T. Navarro studied under national artist Carlos Botong Francisco and national artist Victorio Edades. She worked on metal sculptures and followed a modernist style. C. Virginia T. Navarro K. Check. Prof. Marla. What are Okazaki fragments in the context of DNA replication? A. Short, discontinuous strands synthesized on the leading strand. B. Long, continuous strands synthesized on the lagging strand. C. Primers used to initiate DNA synthesis. D. Specialized structures formed during telomere synthesis. E. Enzymes involved in DNA unwinding. Penny. A. Short discontinuous strand synthesized on the leading strand. A. Short discontinuous strand synthesized on the leading strand is correct. K. Check. Rafael. Yeah. Sino ang pangulo ng bansa ang sumulat sa United Kingdom para muli nating maangkin ang Saba bilang bahagi ng Pilipinas? A. Carlos Garcia. B. Josdado Makapagal C. Ferdinand Marcos D. Manuel Rojas E. Elpidio Quirino B. Josdado Makapagal Ang tamang sagot ay letter B. Josdado Makapagal K. Check Prof. GG What film won in the best film category in the 42nd Gawaturian held in 2019 starring Ann Curtis, Victor Neri, Arjo Taide and Brandon Vera, directed by Eric Mati. The plot centers on a team summoned by the Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency to conduct a drug bust in the super dense section of Manila. A, on the job, B, Babay at Baril, C, Baril sa Baril, D, by bust, D, honor thy Paolo. father. D, by bus. D, by bus. Kay check. Siyempre, lahat ng contestants natin lumalaban hanggang sa kaduluduluhan. But, that's it for the Kay check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to our wildcard, Jace. Our second finalist with a score of 260 points. He will receive a tablet courtesy of TVUP and we will see Jace again on Friday for the K-Check Grand Finals. Thanks also to Nikos, to Paolo, and to Benny. Palapakan natin sila. Andaling. Thank you for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another semi-final round here on K-Check. K -check.